What would it mean to be able to talk to angels? How would that change your life? Join us now on Angel Talk Tuesday as the psychic angel channelers, Julie Geigel, Susan Schuler, and Lori Walker, allow angels to speak directly through them, sharing messages from beyond. As you bathe in the vibrational frequency of the angels here, you will begin to open up to a stronger and clearer communication of your own. The purpose of this show is to help you awaken, expand, and remember the magnificent being that you are and the mission you came here to fulfill. Welcome, welcome everyone. Our theme for the month is mental health and today's topic is anxiety, the American way. This is Julie Geigel, international psychic medium, trans channel for Archangel Metatron and awakened healer. I offer psychic medium readings and spiritual counseling over the phone and in person in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. You can find me over at www.juliegeigel.com and on Facebook at Psychic Medium Julie. And I would love to invite you to join us for our uh, weekly meditation class every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time over on our Ohm Times Experts platform. You can go to experts.ohmtimes.com forward slash Julie Geigel to sign up for that free meditation class. And uh, this week, our title for our meditation is Higher Consciousness. So if uh, you enjoy spirituality and uh, taking that meditation into the next level of connecting and communing with your angels, uh, this is the perfect one for you to join us. And I would also love to invite you to join us for a class that Susan and I are teaching together along with our fabulous Lori Walker. That is coming tomorrow night, May 11th, or Thursday night, so we got two more nights. <laughs> we have a full moon tomorrow night. And uh, so the following night after that full moon, May 11th, we will be doing a beautiful psychic and medium class. We'll be answering questions, giving readings, uh, offering tips on how to open and expand your intuition, your psychic abilities. So this is going to be a very, very exciting class. And again, you can register that, register for that. Uh, you can simply go to my website and click on the events to, um, to take a closer look at that. And last but not least, don't forget to join me for our Facebook Live, where you can actually see me in person talk about these beautiful channeled messages that come through here on our Angel Talk Tuesday radio show. And that is hosted by Ohm Times Magazine. So you can just uh, go to Ohm Times Magazine on Facebook at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow morning and join me for our Facebook Live Wake Up Wednesdays. All righty. Well, I think we are ready to get started today. And I'm just going to go ahead and ring the Tingsha bells. It helps clear out any lower vibrations and create a pure sacred space for our channeling today. And we have a beautiful crystal bed going. The lights are just glorious this morning as they cleanse and clear those chakra centers of yours. Welcome. I am Metatron here in service to humanity. We are thrilled and delighted as always to join you here today to talk about anxiety and your emotional guidance system. So allow yourself to take a nice deep breath, 
opening and expanding into all that you are and all that you came here to experience. The beautiful roller coaster of emotions that continually move you toward awakening and enlightenment. Pleiadians are here with us this morning, assisting in your understanding of these emotions that move in and out and through you. We understand that there is much discourse at this time on your planet. And we come here today to help you stay grounded, to help you consider other possibilities and other opportunities for aligning with your highest good. And now we would like you to move into your body and move into your feeling of anxiety. And feel free to call forth that feeling now as we assist you in tools to helping you manage and mind these free-flowing emotions in this physical body. So oftentimes that feeling of anxiety comes with a tightness in your chest, a racing in your heart, butterflies in your stomach, and a feeling of overwhelm. Julie is very aware of the feelings of anxiety for it is one of the emotions that she is moving through at this time. And as you tune in to how your body is feeling when anxiety arises, you are able to get a foothold on it before it totally captures and encapsulates you. This is the biggest awareness that Julie is discovering in her journey. That shortness of breath, the feeling of hurry and not enough time and the tightness in her chest and stomach are all indicators that anxiety is becoming the predominant force in the experience of her moment. As she pushes through anxiety, it only continues to escalate and become more than she can manage. And she is left tired and frustrated. But if she pays attention to her intuition, the beautiful voice that you all have within you and slows down in that moment, pausing, like holding a crying baby instead of ignoring it. So I want you to imagine with me now, 
slowing down and pausing to acknowledge the feelings within your body when anxiety comes on. And as you remind yourself that everything is always in perfect and divine order, it allows you to let go of deadlines and the feeling of not enough time and overwhelm. When you step out of the future, the to-do list, or step out of the past regrets, it allows you to come back into the present where there is perfect order, perfect bliss, perfection always. So take a moment now and breathe into the present, the beauty this moment has to offer you now. and let go of your timelines, for they are only illusions that exist within your mental mind. In the scope of truth and reality, there is always an infinite amount of time to accomplish everything that needs to be done. And always remember that whatever you accomplish within your day is exactly what is meant to be achieved. Anything left undone was not supposed to be done in that time-space frequency. Trust and know that there is a higher order constantly working within your experiences here, your journey. Allow yourself to be bathed in this beautiful light frequency that the Pleiadians hold for you today. Releasing all anxieties in your lifetime and allowing peace to be your predominant driving force. Am Metatron, and I have spoken here today. This is Julie Geigel, channeling Archangel Metatron, and you can find me over at juliegeigel.com. You are listening to Angel Talk Tuesday. Coming up in our next segment is Susan Schuler and Jacob, a master teacher of the Akasha. The future of Internet Radio is here. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. The number one reason girls drop out of school in Sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Hi, I'm Kelly Fox, host and astrologer of The Astrology Show. Each week, I'll give you access to the current transits, which are a valuable tool that provide astrological information 
to help unlock the potential each of us has. Understanding the stars can help steer us in the right direction to make better informed choices. So if you're wondering what's going to happen in your week ahead, be sure to tune in to The Astrology Show for guidance. Mondays at 9pm Eastern Time. Do you need help with relationships, romance, or career? I'm a triple-tested, accurate, and ethical psychic medium and spiritual counselor. Simply click on my Call Me Now button at juliegeigel.com. This is Susan Schuler. In life, intention is everything. And I make each of my handmade soy candles and smudging sprays just for you. Go to mediumsusan.com for details. Hi, this is Lori Walker. Have you picked up your free gift yet? You can download my chakra clearing meditation from my website at loriwalker.com. And we are the Psychic Angel Channelers from Angel Talk Tuesday. Well, I finally did it. I opened a 401k. What? Why? Just wait for the inheritance. We've definitely got a rich uncle somewhere. We're one call away from the winner's circle at the Derby, dinners with multiple forks, a vacation home in the country, using summer as a verb. You don't actually think that, do you? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Julie, I think that we're supposed to be doing a discussion now because I don't believe Lori's here today. So if you want to pop oh, on with thanks. me so we can discuss. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Susan. <laughs> And I, I can't hear you real well, so you might want to turn up a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, I was muted. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, everyone. Welcome back here to Angel Talk Tuesday. Yes, Lori is uh, sleeping in this morning. She was up late last night delivering babies. So it is Susan and I, and we switch up our format just a little bit when it's the two of us. So we will be discussing the uh, beautiful channeled messages from Metatron here in our second segment. And I do want to mention, too, that we are taking calls um, we are taking calls today and so you can dial in at one two zero two five seven zero seven zero five seven and then our uh, beautiful Christopher <laughs> uh, we love him so much is going to uh, let me know. And here we are, Yvonne from Boston. So Susan, we'll actually be taking, uh, we'll be doing two psychic readings today. We will be doing one here in our second segment, and then we will be doing another psychic reading or medium reading in our fourth segment. So we'll actually be taking uh, two callers. Now, Everybody can call in and, and comment, talk to us about the show, about spirituality. We love, love, love to hear your thoughts. But as far as the psychic or medium readings go, we will be taking two of those today during our show. All right, Yvonne, thanks for joining us here today. Hello from Boston. Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, it's so um, so delighted to connect with you this morning. And did you Thank have you. any comments or questions that we can help you with today? Well, no, I'm basically calling to see um, what what you see. Um, there's I'm currently experiencing some stuckness in form of um, my job and finances and trying to figure trying to get everything in order. And um, just wanted to see what, what comes up. All right. Well, Avon, I pulled a couple cards for you here today, and there does seem to be a theme in your life at this time right now. And um, the theme actually is that uh, the timing is perfect. And that's, like I said, that's come up twice. At, and I work with mm -hmm. six different decks. So anytime we get the oh, same okay. message more than once, that's a big pay attention as a, a big um, don't overlook this message. So from the Archangel okay. deck, get spread, you get uh, spread your wings. Don't hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. 
And then from the messages deck comes Angel Isabella. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So I kind of get the oh. feeling that you're on the fence about a few things in your life. And the angels are mm-hmm. saying, just do just do it. Go for it, girl. There's, okay. We're all here supporting you. There's no way you can fail at this. You've got your wings. Wonderful. You're, you've graduated. It's time to test out the waters and fly. <laughs> Great. And uh, Susan, did you have any thoughts you wanted to pop in? You know, Yvonne, I love that saying that Julie just said there about um, you've graduated. I think that's that to me is like such a good good place to be in life because for me, I mm-hmm. feel like um, I feel like there's been a lot of fear kind of holding you back. And a mm-hmm. lot of mulling things over and then re-mulling them. And I think it's interesting that you're right. tapping into this as we're talking about anxiety. Because I can yeah. feel like, because so much of the fear-based, it's been really holding you back is this anxiety. Because you're living too much in the future and you're not living in the here and now. Okay? Right. So from what okay. Julie was just discussing, or I should say Metatron was just discussing, I hope you really took that message to heart because to me, it's just, it is all for you right now about Mm -hmm. living in the moment and not overthinking things anymore. And to just sort of like jump off that cliff and know that your arms are going to be held and that you're absolutely Mm -hmm. taken care of. Um, I'm drawn especially to career as we're talking about that. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. So for me, it just feels like, I mean, it's, like what Julie had said, there's like nothing can really go wrong at this point. It's like you've thought, you've planned, you've put your ducks in a row. But the reality of it is we can never plan. OK, um, on right. a total different side note. I remember saying to my grandmother one time after she'd had 10 children, when did you know you were going to be ready for children? And she said, never. So it's kind of never. the same thing. You can plan and plan and plan, but you just you'll never really feel ready. And you just got to right. go for it. OK. A, a wonderful, like, just lovely reading. Thank you so much. You're, you're welcome. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> well, you have a great day, Yvonne. Thanks for your support. And we'd love to have you join us in the break room. We've got on Facebook at Angel Talk Tuesday Break Room. Okay, uh, wonderful. Thank you. You bet, you bet. Bye-bye. All right, Bye-bye. Susan. So we will go ahead and talk about the messages from Metatron. And if you could uh, jumpstart us here. Absolutely. It's funny. It's like, um, for those listeners that may not realize, when the other persons are channeling, the other people are channeling, um, we're busy taking notes. And I honestly could not write quick enough today. Um, It was like one great thing Metatron was saying after another great thing. I'm thinking, slow down, slow down. Um, But to me, first of all, whenever the Pleiadians step forward, um, I don't know if I have a special connection to the Pleiadians or, but it just, there's this huge emotional just flow that I really feel that comes through with that. So when you said the Pleiadians are here this morning to assist with these emotions, and then the fact that he started talking about, um, the free flowing emotions, because so many times I think when we do feel anxiety, I know at least I can say I'm kind of like this. And I think it was very um, interesting that he brought up you, Julie, as well, about how you're kind of trying to work through your own anxiety. But so many times when we feel it, we try to push it down and we don't actually like kind of acknowledge the fact, yes, my stomach has butterflies. Yes, I feel like there's a pressure on my chest. Yes, my head is spinning. But it's like we have to do that so we can kind of work through it. And it's not like we're embracing it, but you're at least allowing yourself to feel it. And I just thought that was really poignant in the way that he said that. Yeah, absolutely. And a, a few years ago, I really had some major issues with anxiety and it was just horrible. It was horrible. It was, you know, 24 seven. And it was this constant feeling of um, just, you know, not, not enough time that I'm, I'm just short, <laughs> short on time all the time. Mm-hmm. And even when I would sit down to relax, it would just be, I wouldn't be able to shut it off. It just was constant. And so I finally, you know, with through meditation, through lots of um, self-help programs and through awareness, I was able to heal it and get rid of it. And now I've actually started taking on quite a few new things this year, <laughs> expanding awesome. my wings. 
And um, yeah, I can feel those old feelings of anxiety coming back up. And, um, you know, my Metatron, absolutely, my counsel here right away, they're like, oh, you need to get a hold of this. Otherwise, it's going to run away from you. And then you're going to be right back where you were. And so, yeah, for me today, this is, again, a big message because I do have the tendency to just push through it and just ignore it and, you know, keep going on with my day. But uh, what I do find is when I stop and take a breath, when I pause and pay attention to how I'm feeling and then start um, talking myself off the ledge, basically, you know, Everything's in divine and perfect order. There's whatever gets done today is exactly what's supposed to get done today. All, you know, that stuff kind of helps bring me back into the present moment and out of that future. You know, one of uh, the, the beautiful sayings is that anxiety is because you're living in the present. Depression is because you're living in the past. Peace is living in the present. Yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. Um, but the two things that you said, and you just reset them right there, was just about everything is in the perfect and divine order. Um, and Julie, I know you're a type A like I'm a type A. Yeah. It's like when when, when we're naturally uh, overachievers, um, it's like sometimes you set all of these like amazing things on your day that this is what I want to achieve. And when you don't achieve them. I don't know about you, but I personally beat myself up. It's like, oh, God, I can't believe I didn't do that. And I can't believe I'm not doing this. And, oh, my God. And then you get almost obsessive about it. Yep. Um, <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one. And I, and I do know we have both seen the statistics on anxiety in our country. And they're just it's off the charts. Yes. Absolutely off the charts. Um, I had three different conversations with people who are close to me on Friday alone of people talking of panic attacks uh, anxiety attacks where they can't breathe, high blood pressure issues, all things that were stemming all just because of the way that they were dealing with their own anxiety. And mm -hmm. if you were on the outside looking at these people, they would appear like they had really great lives. You right. know, so it, it's it's interesting, like how we put a lot on ourselves. I mean, so much on ourselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and I know Eckhart Tolle is offering a beautiful program here the first time ever through um, Sounds True. And I, I highly recommend anything Eckhart ever does. He's my number one go-to guy. I always tell people I'd marry Eckhart if I could. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but he's just so amazing. Even just sitting and listening to him talk, I can move instantly out of anxiety, instantly into that presence and peace. Um, but we truly have the power to change our not only our own personal lives, but the lives of the people around us and the lives of the world simply by making better choices, simply by stopping and being present in our life. Absolutely. And not feeding into it. You know, I just, it just feels to me like so many of us feed into it. Well, or push through it. Like I, mm -hmm. I have a tendency to do, just ignore it and push through it. Yeah, absolutely. Take the time to hold that crying baby. Don't ignore it. <laughs> As Thich Nhat yeah. Hanh would say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, everyone. Well, in our next segment, Susan is going to be channeling our beautiful master uh, teacher, Jacob of the Akasha. And then in our fourth segment, we will be taking another free psychic reading, another free medium reading, if you will, during our fourth segment. So stay tuned for more to come. The cutting edge of Conscious Radio, Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. 
Hi, this is Julie Geigel. Would you like to know the secret to manifesting? Join our next Manifesting Mastermind to create miracles of health, wealth, love, and joy. Sign up at juliegeigel.com. Why wonder when you can know? Hi, this is psychic medium Susan Schuler. Let me help you get the answers. Schedule an appointment today at mediumsusan.com. Hi, this is Lori Walker. Would you like to receive daily inspiration? Join me on Instagram and Facebook at Lori Walker psychic medium healer and we are the psychic angel channelers from angel talk tuesday today my new dad and i shot off a rocket in the park today my new son and i failed to shoot off a rocket the rocket launched into the air and then crashed into the pond i'll never forget that day i'll never forget that day even if i tried you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Angel Talk Tuesday. This is Susan Schuler. And I do want to thank Julie Geigel for that beautiful uh, Metatron channel that she just did a while back. That was quite amazing. Uh, as a channeler, I work with a team of guides from the Akashic Records, whom Jacob is the master teacher and leader of this group. The Akashic Records are often where I go for my information during past life readings as well as my psychic readings. As a professional psychic medium based in the Los Angeles area, I do readings for clients in person, on the phone, and with Skype all over the world. I do frequent mediumship and psychic demonstrations around Los Angeles, as well as other parts of the country, too. And I will be in western New York the last two weeks in May doing demonstrations and one-on-one -on -one readings. And I'm very excited to announce that Lori, Julie, and I will all be doing a demonstration online, as Julie mentioned before, on May 11th. And that's 4 p.m. West Coast time and 7 p.m. East Coast time. And for more information on either of uh, any of these events, I should say, <clears throat> you can check out our websites. And aside from doing the one-on-one -on -one readings, I also do small group readings and teach classes. I'm a big believer in setting intentions and make wonderful scented soy intention candles, too. And all the details for any of my information may be found at mediumsusan.com or feel free to go to my Facebook page at Susan Schuler Psychic Medium. And as Julie mentioned, we're accepting calls during the last segment. Uh, and you can reach us at 202-570-7057. So let me just switch gears, <clears throat> clear my throat, and ask Jacob to step forward. We welcome you today, dear beautiful children of the earth. We are pleased that you have stepped forward today and decided to join us for this topic. Picture us forming a collective sigh as we delve into today's topic of anxiety, for it is a much misunderstood topic. We wish not to step on any of your toes, so to speak, but feel we must be very straight speaking about this subject. For many of you have surrendered into living lives filled with self-inflicted stress and anxiety. Until you have allowed it to physically infiltrate your bodies, causing many health issues and concerns that could have been avoidable. First, we remind you that on any given day, on any hour, at any minute, you have a choice. A choice on how you will look at your life, the aspects of your life, the attitude you approach your life with, and most importantly, the way you decide to react and respond to your life. We watch as many of you believe you are simply victims responding to life around you. But we remind you again, you have always a choice at how you react to the things life will throw your way. And many of you are so used to the daily drama of life 
that rather than try to avoid stresses, you welcome them in and then complain about your levels of stress. Stop. Simply stop right now and sit with us as we hold a mirror up for you to see, to decide at this very moment that you no longer want to live this way. Stop. Once you have consciously decided you do not want to accept anxiety into your life, and remember, this will be an ongoing way to approach this. It's not a one-time thing, but rather a practice. You can always begin by taking a deep, truly cleansing breath to release all the fear. For fear is exactly what anxiety is. So breathe in deeply now and allow yourself to blow slowly all the current fear out of your body that you may be so tightly hanging on to. Not only will the breath work help you to release the immediate stress causing your anxiety, but focus on the breath will also give your mind a short reprieve from the anxiety causing monkey mind of worry. For instead of doing things to calm the mind when feeling anxious, most of you allow your egos to jump in and feed the anxious mind more and more until we see many of you dealing with obsessive behaviors and health concerns because the mind is now running things. So the physical body jumps on to prove the mind did indeed have a reason to worry. In reality, however, you have created the issues for yourself. Stop when this begins to happen. Take control by first realizing your sense of fear, worry, anxiety, and stress are not truly who you are. That is the childish ego who we speak so often about. When anxiety rules your life, never doubt that is who you have allowed to take center stage. And believe us when we say the ego loves a good drama. It thrives on it. Your lives are self-induced and hectic on your planet. There is no way around this. But there are things that you can do to help eliminate certain stresses in your life. Many of you see worry and anxiety as a way to be proactive for the problems in your life. But worry is just a shopping list of things you do not want. So why place a focus on that? As with the earlier breath we spoke of taking, we remind you of the beauty of your soul and how when properly tapped into, how calming the soul connection can be. Quite the opposite is true about connecting to the monkey mind and the ego. So to truly gain control of the ego and all the anxiety, drama, and stress it feeds on, one must first have an ongoing relationship with the soul. This is where your wisdom, patience, understanding, empathy, and love reside. Whereas fear, anger, hostility, and frustration are all part of living within the ego. Therefore, the more you can step away from that fear-based ego, the easier it will be for you to catch yourself when you begin to feel overwhelmed, anxious, or stressed. If this is handled properly, the need for medications for these problems would diminish greatly, as well as many of the physical ailments that grow out of these issues. Much of anxiety comes from feeling like you have no control and that you are a victim. But we tell you now, you have total control to decide at any moment how you will react and respond to things 
situations and people in your life. Be that observer of the play in the third row rather than the overly dramatic leading player who could win your Oscar. Taking that first simple deep breath and not immediately reacting when things ignite is the first step because it will not only help to clear away the negativity and fear, but it will also give you a moment to remember who you are, your soul, not your ego, and then to tap more fully into your higher nature where love leads the show rather than fear. When you practice doing this, not only will it make your life less anxious, but you will also serve as a beacon of light for others. The more you reacquaint yourself to the beauty of your soul, the more you will back away from the things that are not truly important, but that many of you place such importance on. Your ego vibrates on a lower frequency and when you spend much of your time here, this is the same frequency you will attract into your life, and this includes more drama. Your soul, however, is the beautiful peace of God that resides within. And when you spend time with your soul, you allow yourself to sit in your true power. When you learn to practice this, you will then attract more higher vibrational things into your life. So do you see how much of your power you are truly giving away by allowing fear to rule you with the help of the ego? Instead of doing any good with this worry, which causes your anxiety, you are actually lowering your frequency and this is therefore affecting how the universe will then respond to you. But like we said, the choice is up to you at any moment in time to simply stop doing this. And it all begins by taking a breath, recentering yourself, looking past the ego and connecting in to the seat of your soul. Regardless of how you choose to connect with your soul, whether through traditional meditation, guided meditation, chanting, toning, singing, playing, or anything that takes you away from the ego and into the present, this is where you will learn to step away from allowing anxiety to rule you. And with it, you will notice a shift in anxiety attacks, heart palpitations, shortness of breath, blood pressure issues, and all the many other physical manifestations that can come from anxiety. Shifting your awareness to do this is a practice. It is not a one-time thing. But the sooner you begin, the sooner your vibration will begin to rise. And when this happens, you will notice that you will attract better situations, and people in your life. Stop sending out that shopping list to the universe of all the many things you do not want. Rather, learn to place the focus on all the things you do desire. Breathe deeply and breathe often when you feel your ego trying to elbow itself up to the forefront of your mind. Take time each day in whatever way works for you to ground, center, protect, and reconnect to your soul. This is Susan Schuler. You can find me at mediumsusan.com. Please stay tuned for our next discussion about what Jacob spoke of today and feel free to call at 202-570-7057. more conscious lifestyle to your world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Looking for inspiration? 
Want to be inspired? Not sure where to go. Find Mark and Kim every Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on Inspired Living. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. You are, you are the, the inspired and, and the inspiration. inspiration. Hi, this is Julie Geigel. Would you like a free psychic reading? Become a member of our inner circle and get a free reading today. Sign up at juliegeigel.com. Hi, this is Susan Schuler. Have you stopped by my website to download your free mini grounding meditation? Do so now at mediumsusan.com. Would you like to speak with an angel? Hi, I'm Lori Walker, a trance channel for Rialta from the angelic realm. Book your session now at loriwalker.com. And we are the Psychic Angel Channelers from Angel Talk Tuesday. When is the best time to talk to your family about staying in touch during a disaster? When floodwaters reach your door, when wildfires are engulfing the edge of your neighborhood, or an earthquake is destroying buildings, or is the best time perhaps today? During a disaster, you may not be able to stay in touch with your family or friends as easily as you think. Go to ready.gov communicate and make your emergency plan today. Don't wait. Communicate. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Welcome back. This is Julie Geigel. Thank you for listening to Angel Talk Tuesday, hosted every Tuesday on Ohm Times Radio. And thank you, Susan Schuler, for that beautiful message from Jacob. Wow, he was on fire with some amazing tips today. Um, so awesome, so awesome. All right, well, Susan, hello, you there? I'm here. <laughs> Oh, so we will just go right ahead and jump in. Again, we are taking one more caller um, for a free psychic reading from the fabulous Susan Schuler here and myself, Julie Geigel. We would love to assist you with career, business, questions, or romance, relationships, and we also work with health. So if you need some assistance from some psychic advisors, you've come to the right place. Just dial in at 1-202-570-7057. All right. So while we wait for a caller to come on, we will just go ahead and talk about these beautiful messages from Jacob. And our um, engineer, Chris, uh, feel free to jump in if we get a call or sometimes I don't um, pay real close attention to my phone when I'm deep in discussion with Susan. So uh, let's go ahead and hit some of these highlights from Jacob. On any given day or hour, you have a choice on the way you react and respond to life. I think sometimes we're just on that autopilot and we forget that. We forget so often that we do have so many choices. And stop and consciously decide you do not want to live this way. You do not want anxiety to rule your life. And I just loved how he piggybacked on Metatron because I do believe it's really important to repeat these messages because everybody has a different way of saying it. And it comes and hits different people at different times. So uh, that is a definitely a theme today to don't do not push through it when you are feeling anxious, literally stop right there in that moment and make a conscious just even pausing to do to to do that make a conscious decision in your mind that I am feeling anxious right now identifying that emotion and I this is not what I want for my life. So I'm going to take the time right now to choose differently. Such a beautiful message today, Susan. Yeah, and it's, you know, it, to me, it, to be realistic, it's hard to choose that sometimes because it's like the, the, the ego, man, it's such a powerful little thing. It really does want <laughs> to lead the show sometimes. And it is true how as much as we might be saying, I don't like this anxiety, I don't like this stress, I don't want the drama, 
and then we just keep our voices keep raising it. We just keep inviting more of it in. And exactly. I mean, you could be the most spiritually evolved person in the world, not saying I am, Lord knows, but <laughs> it, it, it's, I feel as though I've gotten a little better over the years, but it's still such a, a challenge, you know, and then God, uh, God forbid you're with other people who are sort of feeding into it. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually worked with a teacher one time who made us give our egos a name, a name that we really didn't like. Like, uh, I think hers was Veronica. Um, and so and it was what she, what she did was it sort of by naming it a name that you didn't like. It was sort of like you gave it like a bad attitude t- towards connecting to it. And okay. um, so you'd be like, oh, she's at it again, you know, but th- that personally helped me just to kind of deal with that. Um, but even now I can still see sometimes I just, I, it's like, I just put fuel on the fire. Yeah. And that's a, actually a very good technique because Acker talks about that in um, the power of now talks about how, when you put it outside of yourself as a separate entity, instead of it being inside and it being you, you being it, you actually, it's a disconnection tool. Mm -hmm. And when you can disconnect and put that outside of yourself as a separate entity, it is easier for you to disconnect when it rears its head and wants to come inside and be, take over, take control. So yeah, that that's another awesome technique, most definitely. And, and I, I think, also like, I mean, the way that Jacob did talk about that, I, I, if I recall correctly, yeah. about sitting in the third row rather than being the leading player. Right. A- yeah, absolutely. I thought that was kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> loved that, loved that. And he t- talked about, too, you know, fear is exactly what anxiety is. And again, it goes back into that, you know, anxiety is worrying about the future. Depression is regretting the past. So, yes, when we talk about anxiety, it is rooted in worry and fear. That's really what anxiety is. And so when we can identify that, I mean, awareness is such a key part to managing these emotions, to understanding this emotional guidance system that we have that really is here to help us navigate these uncharted waters and stormy seas. And we can either navigate that with an instrument, you know, we've got that instrument on our ship that helps us uh, find our way back home, or we can throw that overboard and do it alone, which is what happens a lot of times when we just push through or ignore or medicate or numb ourselves. Right. And even like what you had said or Metatron had said earlier about um, knowing that everything was happening in the way that it was supposed to be happening. Um, I know my mom and I always talk about this because my mom's getting older and she worries more than she used to. And I remember my grandmother going through this. And to me, it's like, even though if you're, you know, you're a spiritual being and you know that you have faith in a higher power, it's still a challenge to not get carried away with it. And I mean, I have this talk with my mom all the time because she's just getting ready to move right now. And she's like, oh, should I, shouldn't I, should I? I'm like, you're going to be taken care of. You know, we're all taken care of. Absolutely. You know, and but we forget that. that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it is another reminder, again, that our breath is the portal. Our breath is the starting point always to bring us back into alignment with our soul. So it, it, it bega- begins with becoming aware when you're anxious, when, when, your body, when your body starts to show symptoms of anxiety, become aware of that and pause instead of pushing through it. And then, um, you know, just remembering to use your breath and move your energy into your breath. I know a lot of times when uh, I can start, you know, my body feeling anxious, I'll actually get up and I'll go make a cup of tea or go throw a load of laundry in or just something to to break that energy, to disconnect from the energy that I'm you know, because a lot of times I'll get intense about the work that I'm doing um, and I need to disconnect, shift the energy and uh, physically moving, getting up and physically moving 
does help to shift that energy and then engaging in a different activity and you know oftentimes if it's something relaxing that you can do that's even more beneficial a lot of times i'll just step outside and and you know sit down in the sunshine for a few breaths right <laughs> any anything that you do susan to disconnect from that well, anxiety you know, it's interesting i don't know if you notice this as a, as a teacher but it used to drive me crazy maybe this was more with high school kids but um, when I'd be in class, and this is like my early years as a teacher, when a kid would go, oh, and they'd let out one of those really deep sighs, <laughs> I used to offend me. And then as I got older and I became more spiritual, I was like, one kid would sigh like that. And I'd be like, you know what? I think it's important that we all take a moment to sigh and take a deep breath right now. And I'd have the whole class do it. Wow. And I'll tell you, Julie, it would just change up the entire atmosphere of my classroom. It was so nice that just a simple awesome. deep breath did that. Yes. Yeah. And actually, that's a sign that they they need to take a break. They need mm -hmm. to to shift that energy up. That's beautiful. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I taught mostly um, middle school, uh, elementary school, um, but I, I loved the um, humor. <laughs> <laughs> I love the humor with uh, sixth graders. <laughs> well, this has been a beautiful experience, Susan. We do invite you, everyone, to join us in the break room. Uh, over on Facebook, Angel Talk Tuesday Break Room, where we post our favorite quotes. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time out of your day to join us here on Angel Talk Tuesday. Don't forget, archives are posted 24 hours after the live show airs on omtimesradio.com. I do have that link posted on our fan page at Angel Talk Tuesday. And remember, you have a plethora of angels uplifting, inspiring, and enfolding you in God's love every day. Until next time, this is the Psychic Angel Channelers, Julie Geigel, Susan Schuler, and Lori Walker, helping you connect with your own angelic teams.